I'm Demetrius. And I'm Charlie. And we are Year 10 students who are going to be showing you around the school. We're going to go all in the different classrooms and you're going to find out a little bit more about our school. Um, the school has given us a lot of different opportunities. I am the Member of Youth Parliament and Charlie is the Support Member of Youth Parliament. And we have gotten a lot of amazing opportunities from the school. So let's have a look. Yes, let's go. student reception and it's basically where the students come if they want to sign out, they feel ill, anything like that or just want to you know, talk to someone. <laughs> you can see all of the tutors in the school, then you've got the heads of year, current heads of year, but obviously it actually points to the big uh, button, the big bully button, uh, on the VLE which you'll find out a bit more about. But this is the one of the many ways that we prevent bullying within the school. Bullying is dealt with really efficiently at the school, so if you do feel that you are a victim of bullying or if you need that extra support, there's lots of different people that can help you around the school. And plenty of ways to contact them. Yes, so there's a bit of information on the website. There's obviously the bully button there. Your tutors are the first port of call at any point, so if you need anything or if you need any support, if you need anything at all, uh, your tutors will be the first port of call and then obviously next will be the heads of year and then Mrs Buckley and then Mrs Woods will be floating yeah. around as the designated safeguarding leads um, oh which are just there with the poster right there but um, yeah we're hands off school telling school so we don't tolerate bullying uh, it's not part of us and we hold great ethos yeah. and we care about each other magic happens in geography you know so but what subjects we do we do climate change development in like cities what else is there there's quite lots there's yeah. lots yeah there's loads there's like rainforests oceans all of that basically covers the whole area over your time in Haraway yes. it's definitely one of my favorite yeah. topics but yeah, yeah, so obviously you can have a look in these classrooms, but do be aware that uh, some students might be in some PE kits throughout this video. This is, uh, if they have a PE or they have dance, they will have their PE kits on just as an extra precaution. So it's not as hassle getting changed in and out yeah. and everything else. So. Hi everyone, yeah. welcome to Haraway Community School. My name is Miss Calder, I'm the curriculum leader for Geography, and this year I'm a Year 7 tutor. Uh, in Geography in Year 7 we cover lots of topics, we focus on both human and physical geography and they range from Africa as a continent to uh, a country focus on China, we look at the UK geography, we look at rivers and ecosystems and we start off by looking at our own personal wonderful place. So it's a shame you can't be here in person to see all the fantastic stuff we do but hopefully we'll see you uh, when we can. Take care! In this, it's still the, that floor. Um, this is the head of the year's room, which we will, um, and then we've got Ari here. Hello and welcome to Ari and Philosophy. Uh, for this, essentially what the st uh, students will be looking at first of all is animal rights. And we move on then to Christianity, the origins of it and the important aspects of it. And then we look at what is sacred. After we've done that, we move on to what is a human being. And this is the philosophy part of the course. So we don't just cover um, religious education, we look at all different aspects of what humans are, what morality is, what it means to lead a good life, and what it means to be a good human being. I'm absolutely convinced, and my year sevens this year have always backed me up, that is a completely different course to what you study in primary school. So when you do come to Haraway, or you choose this as your school, try not to think of it as being an extension of what you did at primary school. It will be something completely different, there'll be lots of discussion, there'll be lots of time for you to talk about what you believe, and also lots of time to absorb other ideas. And these are our two history classes. Right here is H4 and this is H5. It's actually a really great subject that focuses on so much of a great piece of history. So World War II, World War One, it covers the whole World Wars. Yeah. And then it actually covers lots of different subjects. Hi, um, my name is Mrs Brown. I'm the curriculum lead for history here at Harry Way. So one of the things that we really try and do um, with history is get students excited about it. Um, we try and make history as engaging as we possibly can using inquiry. So we get students to think about big questions, piece together the evidence for themselves and actually come up with their own interpretations, their own overall judgments. So when you arrive in year seven, 
we start and we go right back to earlier than 1066 even and we start to look at early history and we actually focus on the Harrow Way so where we are as a school is really really important it was probably um, the country's oldest road and we look at the people moving through the Harrow Way once we've completed that we then start to really build your key knowledge and key skills during year seven and we cover topics like the Tudors we cover the English Civil War and then year eight, we carry on into um, the industrial period and then through to the 20th century. So by the time you get to year nine, you've got a really good understanding of pretty much a thousand years worth of history. Once we get into year nine, we then focus in on certain units of time. We'll do a focus unit on the Cold War and the Holocaust as well. And we also look at the um, interwar years in this country between the end of the First World War and the beginning of the second. So hopefully by the time you get to the end of year nine, you'll be absolutely loving history as much as we do and you'll be taking it for GCSE. And at GCSE, we cover um, crime and punishment, which is a bit gruesome and ghastly, and the Cold War, Elizabeth, and also Nazi Germany. So overall, it's really exciting and we really, really try and work hard to make you Welcome to the MFL department, but there's also a PSHE uh, classroom. So, this is the PSHE classroom, and obviously that's mandatory um, on in year seven and then year eight, and then it goes on a carousel yes. basis with IT and it lots of different um, subjects. But you can also choose it if yeah. it's something that you're interested in. So that also covers uh, a lot of different, so PSHE and social care and a lot of different, if yeah. you want to take that kind of career path. Are the modern foreign languages uh, classrooms and then obviously we have a great uh, amazing resource for the school an IT suite that lots of students are able to use during uh, lesson time. Hi I'm Miss Gritty and I am a languages teacher at Haraway. Uh, in languages we like to encourage students to practice all of the four different skills so listening, reading, writing and speaking. Um, I like to get students up out of their seats so that it's a bit more of an engaging lesson but in a more fun and educational and exciting way. Uh, we cover in year seven both in French and Spanish the basics so numbers and being able to describe yourself eventually going into being able to write in paragraphs. We also talk about uh, what we do in town, what we do in our free time. Uh, we go on to talk about being able to justify our reasons and we also cover a little bit of tenses in year seven as well. suite in the school and then if we actually carry on onto here yeah. we've got S2 which is mainly used for a science uh, science subject however can be used for different uh, well different subjects in the school so this is the IER so if you need any time uh, to, um, someone to talk to there is that resource so these are the boys toys of course and then we're heading into DT, DT block yeah. and there is the workshop on the left where basically it's woodwork, all of that, and you know, all of the practical stuff. But obviously, you do graphic design in here, which is equipped with like you know computers, but it's also a place to work, draw prototypes, you know, practically everything else in there. Which is and we have two of these workspaces. You've got DT two, and then you've also got DT. Hello, my name's Miss Sam. Welcome to DT. In year seven, if you join our department, if you come to our school, you'll be doing four different projects. One of them is going to be a catering project. One of them is going to be based in the workshop using woodworking tools and you'll produce a flexible toy, something along the lines of this. Um, you'll be doing a graphic design project using programs like Photoshop. And you'll also be doing a textiles based project where you'll learn some different techniques all to do with textiles um, and constructing either a pillowcase or a face mask. These are 
are the lockers, um, which you can actually rent out in the beginning of year seven uh, to you. So if you need your PE kit at the end uh, at the school day, you can just put your PE kit in the locker room. Um, and then that is. This is a yet another uh, science classroom, and another one, and another one, and another one. We've got lots of different science classrooms, of course. Hello, welcome to science. Um, at Key Stage 3, we offer topics across all disciplines, biology, chemistry and physics. We split them into smaller topics that contain both theory and practical work, um, and give a good grounding across all three disciplines to help them out in their GCSEs. At Key Stage 4, we offer two exams and um, combined science which is two GCSEs which is a combination of chemistry, physics and biology again split into smaller topics and the separate sciences biology, physics and chemistry that will offer three GCSEs. Okay, All of our topics contain um, theory and practical work that will enable our students to become good scientists. Okay, and now we're going to go across to the maths block. Yet another IT suite that could be used, um, and yeah, even more resources. Yeah, definitely. And then. Two maths classrooms on the side. Yeah. Um, obviously, we've got quite a broad curriculum here. In Hello, the I'm Mr. Messiah. I am the maths teacher at Haraway. So, when you guys join in year seven, um, obviously, we teach uh, a mixture of things that you've done already in uh, primary school, and then we obviously um, incorporate the, some of the more challenging stuff when you get here. Um, so, we do a mixture of number topics, algebra, um, shapes, and things like that. Uh, also, uh, you will have, we always do assessments at the end of each half term as well um, to test what we've been teaching you. And then basically the similar sort of thing in year eight. And then once after that, it goes towards GCSE maths. Pod is used for eating, uh, so students at break times and lunch times are able to purchase food. Uh, there's a huge variety for different. It caters for so many different, uh, you know, vegetarians, vegans, yeah. uh, pescatarians, lots of different uh, wide range of food. So we're going to head over to some new mass classroom. So this is. Uh, C8 and C9, brand new classrooms that have been built over the summer. And then if you turn around, you can yes. actually see C7, which is part of our flexible learning center and the link. Yeah. This is the sports hall. And this is mainly where you will have your PE lessons. However, we do have the gym, which we will get on to later. So let's head into the... Hello, welcome to the Haraway PE department. Uh, just going to take you very briefly through what a typical year in Haraway PE would look like. We start off in September with most of the winter sports. So you're looking at football, rugby, netball. As we travel through the year and the weather gets a little bit better, we head into our summer sports, looking at athletics, striking and fielding, so things like cricket and rounders. Of course, it's not the only thing we do. We're very fortunate to have a, a, a great facility to be able to put on a lot of extracurricular opportunities. So we have a climbing club, which runs twice a week. We have netball, we have football, we have rugby, we have rounders in the summer, we have cricket in the summer. So there's plenty of opportunity for you to express yourself beyond the classroom environment. And of course, we take those into competitions against all the other local schools. This is the dance 
studio. So this is actually also quite fairly new to us. However, not so new, but new. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where your dance lessons will take place. Uh, year seven, you actually do dance. I'm not sure in year eight that you do uh, dance. No, you don't do dance in year eight, but it's taken, you have the option of taking it in year nine again and obviously continuing through the school if it's something you're interested Hi, in. Hi, my name is Miss Walker and I'm curriculum leader for the dance department. Um, when you join Haraway, you will have one lesson of dance a week in year seven and we develop performance skills, choreography skills, rehearsal skills and the ability to evaluate yourself as a performer. Then when you get to year nine, you have the option to take it as one of your GCSE choices. Um, and then throughout year 9, 10 and 11, we'll develop your technique skills in contemporary, in jazz and in street dance. We have lots of performance opportunities and we also go on some pretty cool trips too. Um, this huge, huge area, this is the field. So actually in outdoors in the summer or in the early autumn, your lessons will also be taking place here. However, these are also opened up for breaks and lunch times as well. So we've also got the basketball court here. And you might see the different rugby posts and different football posts that are used for lessons during rugby and football. tennis court. Yeah. As you can see, yet another sports facility that Haraway Holt and this is used for the different tennis activities and netball activities. Netball, um, hockey. Lots of different things. Yeah. Um, yet another credited sports facility at Haraway. <laughs> There are English, drama, art here, um, and lots of different other lessons going on. So this is the entrance to drama. And art. And art. And as you can see, the drama classroom. And you actually, uh, you take this in year seven and year eight, and then you get to choose it as an option if you see that as a career path. Hello, I'm Mr Manson. I'm Head of Performing Arts here at Haraway. Uh, in years seven and eight, I will see you every week for your drama lesson. And we'll do lots of things from scripted work to devising our own plays based on uh, stories and ideas that you've had. We've also got loads of opportunities for you to do things after school. So we've got our drama club that runs every week and we've got the school musical. And it doesn't matter if you're year seven or year 11, if you are good enough and you want to be in it, then you are more than welcome to. So of course, well, as you can see, uh, Haraway is definitely a big performing arts like place. It offers a wide variety, and yeah, so obviously you've got the school musicals. It's definitely something that it's a lot of fun, and it just makes you know the whole learning experience much more interesting. Yeah. And performing arts is consistent of drama, as you can see here, music, which we'll get onto quite later, and then you've got dance as well. Um, so if we now shift on to art and photography. Now, art you take in year seven and eight, you can also then choose to drop it or continue to take it on. And then photography is a brand new subject that is introduced in year nine that you can take on as a Hi, I'm Miss Fowler, and I'm one of the art teachers here at Haraway. When you start in year seven and eight, you will learn lots of new media, techniques, and processes with us, and you do a range of things and study a range of cultures such as cubism, surrealism, still life and uh, portraiture. So one of those topics each year will always be drawing and painting. One will be focused on clay and the other will be focused on textiles. When you get to year nine we then become an option block so you can choose to continue to study art or you can choose to study photography. In both, you'll look at more media techniques and processes and you'll develop your, your creative ability with us. Okay, so during like English from year 7 to year 9, you go through this lovely journey of learning new skills and definitely having the opportunity to focus on different texts which is really awesome and then 
From year 10 you start to focus more on language and literature and the analytical skills and that side of English. So it's definitely, it's a nice broad yeah. range throughout your time at Haraway. Hello, I'm Miss Smith and I'm an English teacher at Haraway and I'm going to speak to you a little bit about our curriculum and what we offer in English here. So we do portfolios throughout all of their years here at Haraway and students will have a portfolio to show their progression so it's all the kind of big pieces of work that we do and they're really important because it gives students an opportunity to be proud of something they've produced and also show how they've developed throughout the year. Now in year seven and eight the students will have creative portfolios and we begin year seven with Treasure Island and looking at expeditions. Our theme for the year um, in year seven is islands and adventures and all of the texts and everything we study very much revolves around that and all the creative work that we do in our portfolio also revolves around that. Then we move on to year eight where we will be doing light in the darkness and quite similar to year seven, the text and what we study kind of links with our theme. When we get to year nine, things change up a little bit in prep for GCSEs and we have a theme instead of identities and conflict and the creative portfolios move over to academic portfolios to really focus on the skills that you do need with those kind of harder subjects and the harder texts that we do study at GCSE level. And then we continue the portfolios into the GCSE years as we still feel it's really important for students to track their progress and show how much they've developed over the years with us. The corridors, lots of different offices dotted around. And then you've got the Sarah's office. And then continuing on, lots of more different offices. Uh, then you've got more toilet facilities in the B block. And then we're coming on to a bit more English classrooms. And then you've got uh, an art classroom right there. Hi, I'm Mrs Hamilton and I'm head of Hawk House. There are three heads of houses at Harry Way. You've got me as head of Hawk House, Miss Fowler as head of Buzzards, and Mr Manson as head of Kestrels. Here at Harry Way we have a really competitive house system, we all get involved in lots of competitions and our aim is to get as many points as possible to win the House Cup. We look forward to seeing you in September so that you can join in with the participation and get competitive. Good luck, see you then. opportunities that come with it so obviously trips is the big thing throughout the whole of Haraway but definitely some of the sport trips are some of the best so you've got cow shot you know like netball matches you know it's quite a broad range yeah, yeah. As you can see all the chairs, the flooding of chairs for assemblies where uh, every one day a week you'll have an assembly as a whole year group of different, uh, sometimes different uh, people, uh, SLT members and then also guest speakers sometimes. Uh, then if you stir over here you've got the different queues for the main eating area where lots of different food is served again, um, the queues that will line up to here. Classroom. Um, so yes, again, this is an amazing part of the performing arts department within Haraway. Hello, I'm Mrs. Messiah. I'm the music teacher at Haraway. Um, when you come to Haraway in Year Seven, you will learn how to play some keyboard, you'll learn how to play some ukulele, and you might even get to learn how to play some guitar. Um, we also offer extracurricular activities such as choir and band jam and obviously there's also the school musical that you can take part in. Um, so in year seven you study a mixture of performing topics and a mixture of composition topics. Um, we also offer one-to-one -one music lessons at Haraway um, on lots of instruments, um, mainly piano, guitar, singing. Um, we also do woodwind, brass and strings as well. So there's lots of options to choose from um, if you do come to study at Haraway. <laughs> Catering, which is in here. 
Yeah, so obviously this is where we do our cooking and baking and it's year seven mm -hmm. and eight. Yep. And then obviously it's another option you can choose, which is definitely a lot of fun. And it so this is the Learning Resource Centre, which is more commonly known as the Library. Now, the Library is yet another great resource for Haraway Community School. Uh, we've got different uh, computers and iPads, and then also laptops, which are stored here for use during lesson time. It's also used for different uh, meetings and lessons within the actual library. We've got a huge variety of stock uh, that can be taken out, so friction books, non-fiction books that your child can actually take out and read. Uh, we've also got a great e-book system. System, which can be you can actually loan an ebook online with our, some of our service partners and actually have a read. which is yet another IT suite and a classroom. So Hello, welcome to Computer Science. My name is Mrs Robertson and I'm currently Head of ICT and Computing here at Haraway School. When you come and join us in Year 7 and Year 8, you'll have one lesson a week of Computer Science, which includes things like eSafety, we do a little bit of Excel spreadsheets, but then we focus on computer systems and we do quite a bit of Python programming. In Year 8, so that we then extend that and we do some networking. Then it comes to choice. In year 9 you get to choose computer science as an option and then in year 10 you can either continue with computer science um, and you can also take on ICT. You can do both if you want or we'll do them separately. We've got lots and lots of computer rooms here uh, with lots and lots of advanced knowledge as well. I'm a Google educator. We're a computer at schools hub as well so it means we, we combine with all the different schools in Andover. Look forward to seeing you. Here we have the Haraway journey and actually it does begin in primary school and the transition into year seven which is obviously a big part of the whole experience but her is definitely very good at making you feel safe and welcome then obviously in year seven you're getting to know your school and it is that first year it's kind of the time where you get to know people and the staff and then year eight you're beginning to make choices and really understand what you know the whole education is about uh, year 9, Year 10, and which is where you know, you're beginning to think about GCSEs. Alright, and then Year 11. Of course this is the main year that you'll take your GCSEs, but it's also now starting to think about what you want to do in your life and how you want to go into the workplace. The school really is that support system that actually makes sure that you are happy with the choice that you've made and to support you in making that right those next steps after Year 11. Um, of course, there's lots of different options uh, that you can take after Year 11. However, the school just needs to be, will be there for you. Yeah, at Haraway we have three simple rules. Be ready, be respectful and be your best. Okay, so that brings an end to our tour of the school. We hope you've enjoyed coming around with us and we hope to see your child soon at Haraway. If you do have any questions, do get in touch. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.